Hi Jurassic Kitties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw a fall inspired Snoopy. So let's get started. To draw Snoopy, we're going to first start by drawing his eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw a curve. It goes up. And I'm going to come right next to it. Go right here and I'm going to draw another curve going the other way. So then now that I have his eyes in, I'm just going to come in here and thicken it up a little bit. And then let's come close to it. Let's come over about in this area. We're going to draw the nose. So I'm going to come over, come down and in this area, just kind of draw oval as slant. And I'm going to go in there, give it a small little highlight at the top and shade it in. So just make sure this nose is beyond a uh, past this eye over here and below this eye a little bit. So just in this little area. And then from there, let's come below this nose. And I'm just going to give myself a point about right here. So it's really close like this. And we're going to draw a curve all the way back under to this eye. So I'm just using these points to guide me to know where to put all these um, elements. So about right here. I'm just going to, it's easier for my hand. I'm going to come over here and draw this smile for Snoopy. And I'm just going to come over here and cap it off and here as well. Okay, so those are the basic elements you're going to start with to draw his face. Now from there, let's come above this eye and we're just going to, not too far off, maybe about right here. And I'm going to start to draw a slant. It comes out and we're going to go around the nose and we're aiming towards the bottom right here. So we're just going to go around the nose and back to the mouth. So that's the curve you're aiming to draw. Then from there we can go back up right here. So now we're going to start to draw his head. We're going to go up. So kind of in the same area and then now we can start to come down and then let's come back over here on this curve. Imagine this curve coming through. So come through about right here and we're just going to draw a curve that comes down for his neck area. So now we're going to loop all the way around and back to the neck. So let's start to draw this curve that comes out for his head. And we're going to aim towards the bottom. And come in. So there. Okay, so then finally we have his head in. Let's come above this eye. And about in this area, I'm just going to draw a little curve. And another one right here. So cute, right Snoopy? <laughs> okay, so then let's come right here for his ears. And about this area, I'm going to draw a curve that comes up and goes, curls around. It's going to be thicker towards the bottom right here and comes back in. So then this side is going to come out right here. And let's do the same thing, but the opposite way. And let's curve, let's see here, about right there. A little bit thicker there and then in. And then let's come in here. Since I'm here, I'm just going to shade this part in. So it's like a rough shade. There. And same thing over here. Okay, so we have the ears in. So then now let's come and draw the body. So I'm going to bring this down a little bit more. Just a little neck. And I'm going to come in here and just draw his little collar about right here. So it's just a little loop that comes out. I'm going to thicken it. And then now we're going to start to draw his hands. So I'm going to come out 
So everything's going to be below his head. Don't go too far out, just right underneath his head. And so about right here and connect. And then this is going to go through. So let's start with this hand. It's going to be four curves. So one, two, three, and four. So same thing on this side. So just give it a slight slant. And body. And once again. One, two, three, and four. There. Okay, so then from there, we're going to start to draw the leaves that he's in. So I'm going to start at the top. Um, this part doesn't really matter. We just want indication of leaves. So maybe the top ones actually make sense and look like leaves. So I'm just going to go here, here and there randomly. Poke out these leaves. And so I'm, I'm going to imagine that these leaves are in this pile here. Let me just draw a little bit more so I can kind of figure out where to put my curve. Okay, so it's just going to be a little mound right here. So I'm going to start under his hand, say about right here. And Say about right there. I'm going to go ahead and draw a curve for the basket. Aim towards my point. And then let's come straight down. The line. And go ahead and connect it. So once again, same thing. Just follow the top curve. So this is the top of our basket. And then now let's draw the bottom of our basket. So I'm going to come in a little bit and draw a straight line that comes down on both sides. And we're going to start to curve it in. So go right there, I'll curve it. And about there, I'll go ahead and connect it at the bottom. Got our basket in, and let's come up here on the edge, and we're going to draw a big loop for a handle. And same thing on this side, another loop. And then now we can go ahead and fill in this area with leaves. So as long as we have the top part that kind of looks like leaves in here and there, you can just add curves to fill up the space. So then this part doesn't really matter anymore. So I'm just, like you see, I'm just adding a bunch of curves here and there to fill up this space and make it look full of leaves. And wherever you feel you need to fill in something, just go ahead and add another leaf. There. So hopefully that looks like a pile of leaves. And then from there, let's add some detail to the basket. I'm going to come to the center and draw a slight straight line and then I'm going to go ahead and curve these lines right here so it's going to be straight and then curve just to give our basket here some dimension and detail so hopefully I'm not going too fast if I am please pause the video Okay, so we have that in, and of course I couldn't resist her. I'm going to add a heart right here in my basket to make it my draw so cute Snoopy. <laughs> Playing in a uh, bucket of leaves, basket of leaves I mean. And then from there, let's go ahead and add a bunch of leaves everywhere. So I'm just going to start at the bottom right here. Have fun with this part, however you want to do this, and however many leaves you want to add. So we're just going to draw a bunch of leaves around Snoopy. 
make it look like he's actually playing. The leaves are flying everywhere around him. So I really hope this inspires you to draw it, to celebrate fall, which is my favorite time of the year. And I guess I love fall because it's just a much cooler time. <laughs> it's not so hot. And of course, all the holidays that are coming up. So hopefully you guys are enjoying all my fall inspired drawings so far. Okay, so maybe I'll just add another one right here to finish it off. And let's come to the bottom right here. I'm just going to add a random, well, just going to shadow. Since I'm going to be coloring this for you with color pencils, then I have my Sharpie out. So come in here and just add a shadow to the bottom of our basket. And that's pretty much it. So now that we're done with the drawing part, let's go ahead and color it. So there, I hope you enjoy watching me draw and color this fall inspired Snoopy and it inspires you to draw it too. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Drastic Cube videos. See you later.